Hey y'all, do you want to see what I got at Bargain Hunt in Union City this weekend? If you do, stay tuned. Hi everybody, I'm Hollerita, and if you're new here, I want to welcome you. And if you're not new here, welcome back. So, if you've watched my birthday vlog, you know that we went to Bargain Hunt in Union City, and I did a little birthday shopping. So, got some other things too, but... Anyway, I'll show you what I did get and tell you um, it was my birthday. I picked it out with my some of my birthday money. So, the first couple of things I'm going to show you, I think, are the two things that I did pick up for my birthday. This. And it has legs on it. It's like a... Well, they call it a multi-function table with folding legs. Um, it says it's perfect for a 17-inch laptop, including enough space for a mouse pad and other desk accessories, including cup and tablet holder. Sturdy and stable folding legs. Iron legs lock into place to give a balanced, flat working or eating surface. Uh, compact design folding legs allow you to store flat when not in use. Multi-function, effective, Bed working solutions, set up your laptop or writing workstation anywhere in your home or use as the perfect food tray for couch or bed. It is 23.75 by 16 by 10. And it's by Home Basics. And this was $16. And it says compare at $29.99. So I don't know, but I do know these are not cheap. But I really like this, and I got this for mostly to use, like, if I'm working on the computer or in the bedroom or whatever, I can set everything there in front of me. And the second thing I got was this yard sign. I thought this was really, really cute, and it's really good, thick stuff, and it's got the stake where you can put it in the ground. This was... Six dollars and it says compared to ten dollars and it just calls it a yard stake it's a 40 inch by 16 inch so there is the front of it and it just says peace love and liberty so I thought you know I don't care it doesn't have to be just like for 4th of July or Memorial Day I'm gonna go ahead and probably put it out soon all right now, let's get into what else I got. So, I got some Spice World Easy Onion Minced and Ready to Use. This was $2. says compare to 7 You know, I don't know about these compare to prices, but either way. Now, one thing you do have to do at Bargain Hunt is look at expiration dates if you're buying food and you're a big expiration date person. So, the expiration date on this is, well, it says use by, hold on a minute, May 12th of 2024. So, I have a whole year to use this. They had several of these. So, you know, like Neil don't like onions and I do, so this is perfect. So, this was $2.00. Picked him up a can of the Easy Cheese. It was $2. And the expiration on it is July 20th of this year. He'll have that gone in no time. He picked up these. He wanted to have some to maybe just take to work with him. The Kool-Aid Jammers and the Orange. These were $2, I believe. I don't see the price on them, but... They're good until January of next year. Definitely will be gone. Oh, I did get something else for my birthday. I forgot about this. Not really, but kind of, sort of. I needed this, so if you want to say it's my birthday present, fine. <laughs> it is a um, hand mixer. And mine, I don't know if it got lost during the move, broke. I don't even remember what happened. But this is by Continental. And it's just... Plain old, simple hand mixer. I don't use one very often, but I thought I'd get it because every once in a while, I need something. And this was $10, and it says compared to $15. So, 
you want to say that was one of my birthday gifts, I'm good with that. And then, I could not pass this up. I thought this was a really, really good deal because if you've watched my channel any time at all, you know that we love Heinz ketchup. That's our favorite ketchup. And they had this bundle. Two ketchups, a relish, and a mustard. Now, I don't, I'm not a big mustard fan. I do, I will eat it somewhat, but we both like relish and like I said, favorite ketchup. So, this was $7. So, I thought that was a really good price because if you've bought Heinz ketchup lately, you know it's not cheap. Oh, it was $7.50, my bad. $9.87, as it says compared to. So, I thought that was a really good deal. Let's see if it, what size the 29 ounce and the ketchups are 32 ounce, the relish is 26 ounce, and the mustard is 28 ounce. So I thought that was a good deal for seven dollars and a half. Couldn't pass that up. And if the uh, the date on them's pretty far down the line, but I can't remember. I'm sure we'll have them eight. Well, the ketchups is seven. Uh, seven two of twenty three. We'll eat it by then. The mustard. I sure ain't worried about going bad. Seven twenty nine of twenty three, but it's mustard. And then the relish is 10, 24, 23. So yeah, these will all be used by the expiration date. And then I picked up, I've never seen this before, but I thought I'd try it since it was only a dollar and a half. It's Betty Crocker Bisquick Flavor Bursting Maple and Brown Sugar. It is a, a pancake mix. Or waffles, if you want to do waffles. Says it makes 12 to 14 four inch pancakes or six four inch waffles. And then all you add to it is water or milk and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. So I thought for a dollar and a half we would try that. Yep. Sounds kind of yummy to me. And this we've already ate. <laughs> Y'all know Neil loves Cracker Barrel mac and cheese. It's probably his favorite. Um, this is the Cracker Barrel Oven Baked Macaroni and Cheese Dinner. So, you put this, you cook your macaroni and cheese, and then you've got these little crumb things that go on top, and you put them in the oven and bake them for just a few minutes. And it's actually not too bad. You just uh, put a little bit of butter in with your crumbs, melted butter, and then put them on top. And it's actually pretty good. We had it last night with the hot dogs that we had cooked for dinner on the grill. So, and it was $2. So, I didn't think that was bad for $2. And, you know, like I said, we ate it. It's gone. I picked up these to take to work. This is the Pop-Tarts Bites in the Frosted Strawberry. These were $2 compared to, compared to $2.99. This one only has five packs in it. And they had some with 10 packs, but the flavors that they had in the 10 packs, I didn't know if I would like them or not, so I didn't get them. But I can take these to work with me to munch on at night if I get hungry, so yeah. And then this is almost empty because I've done been into it. I've been the one that's eating it. It is Kellogg's Honey Nut Frosted Flakes made with real honey. It is a 13.7 ounce box and it was two dollars and a half and it says compared to $2.99. They're actually pretty darn good. I mean, like I said, the whole box is almost gone. And he got some candy or something too, but he took that with him to work today, so I don't even remember. It wasn't one of them was some trolley sour thingies, candies or something. But the last thing I picked up was BB Pets Training Pads. Y'all know the babies, they use puppy pads. And these are the extra large. They say large on them, but they're extra large compared to what we usually get from Dollar Tree. They're the same size. And uh, I had to find out how much they were because they didn't have price on them. I looked and looked. No sign, no price, nothing. So they ended up being $14.49 for 40 pads. So I went ahead and got them because I'm just about out of the ones I got from Amazon. And I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and grab these and then I'll order from Amazon next time, which is where I usually get my puppy pads in bulk. But anyway, guys, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've 
got a bargain hunt anywhere near you, go check it out. Like I said, if you buy perishables, um, you need to check the date. And I know there's something missing because I know I have some more stuff. But I don't know where it's at. Might be in the trunk of my car. Still. Anyway. Let me go see. I'll be back. I, I knew I forgot something. Well, I didn't forget it. You just didn't get it out of the car. <sighs> Why does that wear me out? But anyway. I did get something else. So, I guess I'd consider this for my birthday, too. This is a complete grow kit for lavender. And I plan to put this in our bedroom because they say lavender is relaxing. And it is. So, um, this contains everything you need to grow. A basalt pot. I don't know. But it's... A seed packet, premium grow mix, and easy to grow instructions. And this was $5 compared to $6, but I just wanted to get this because I've been mean, wanting to try to grow lavender just because I think it smells good and it's very pretty. It says non-GMO. So anyway, got that for $5. And then the one other thing that I got, which I'd really forgotten about, was this big flower pot, and it's also breakable. It was $5 compared to $7, but anyway, no telling what'll end up in that. If that lavender gets big enough, it might end up in it. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that is all I got today. I spent like 80 bucks. So anyway, I had a good birthday and enjoyed going to Bargain Hunt. So if you have one near you, go check it out. And just like I said, if you buy perishables, watch the dates. And I know I said this a few minutes ago. But, again, just watch your dates. And, uh, yeah, it's it's some things are not the best prices, but you just kind of got to know, right? And we know because we buy stuff, so we kind of know what we pay for it. So, anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, share my videos, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Hugs and love. Bye!